Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with an art journal layout. A couple of weeks ago, I was a guest over at the Simon Says Stamp blog where I have created an art journal layout. The project was posted on their blog and on their YouTube channel, so in case you didn't have a chance to watch it there, I am uploading it on my own YouTube channel today. Today I will be using the new infusions by Pepper Archie. They come in 12 different colors and they are powder paints that react with water. I have already done a little uh, hole at the top of the lid. You can either uh, uh, apply it like I'm doing on this video or you can either apply it with a brush. Now, if uh, you spray them with water, they are going to react and they are going to give you beautiful uh, uh, results. But uh, for uh, this project today, I'm going to apply them by using gel medium. The benefit of applying uh, the powder with gel medium is that when it dries, it's going to be permanent. And what I really love about those powders is that they are great for uh, vintage uh, projects. So in each jar, along with the main pigment, the main color, uh, there is a mix of walnut stain powder inside. So you see that uh, the yellow that I'm using is not is kind of a dirty, a dirty yellow since it is uh, uh, mixed with walnut stain. I'm going to uh, apply a little bit of the powder in this tag and spray it with water so you can see what I mean. First, the pigment of the yellow reacts and as the time passes, then the brown uh, particles start to dilute. You can control how brown your color is going to turn out by uh, the time you let the water stay there. If you try it quickly, you will get a lighter version of yellow. So now I'm going to use a second color and I'm going to show you how I make those holes. On the inside of the lid there is this um, white uh, foam paper that you need to take out. And with a pin I'm going to make the hole. To make my background more interesting I'm going to apply a little bit of this orange color on a couple of uh, corners of my book. And I'm going to again spread it with gel medium. You can see that a little goes a long way and I get a nice vibrant orange. And there are walnut stain particles inside uh, this uh, color also, just like in all of the infusion jars. And uh, what I really love about those infusions is that uh, they give you instant uh, backgrounds, especially for uh, mixed media projects and for uh, this art journaling. You don't even have to do anything for getting that uh, beautiful vintage look. I have used my baby wipe to make sure that everything is uh, blended nicely. You can also use your fingers. And once I'm happy with the background, I'm going to use my heat gun to speed up the drying process. I am going to do some stamping on the background. I'm using a couple of texture stamps by, as I said, by Tim Holtz. You can find all the links just below the video of everything that I'm using. So first I have used a dot stamp and uh, I used the archival link and uh, the color was orange I believe and now I'm using this as plus stamp and uh, I am again using archival link in uh, the coffee color. This is going to give uh, a little bit more texture on the background and now for my favorite technique I am going to do some stenciling and apply my embossing paste. I had uh, the wrong jar there that was gel medium. So I brought my embossing paste. I'm going to apply it with my spatula on different areas on my project. And as I am applying it, I make sure that I don't cover up the whole background. For this technique to work great and have uh, nice results, you really need to have an embossing paste or a modeling paste that is uh, very thick. The thicker the paste, the better the results. Because if it's quite liquid, then it's going to sip under the stencil and uh, you won't really like the results. So I'm just uh, scraping off the excess, putting it back in the jar. And uh, now my background is ready. I'm going to leave it aside to dry. And I'm going to work with uh, this stamp. This is a new stamp by Penny Black. And I will be using the poppy stamp. I am planning to do some paper piecing, so uh, first I am going to color an area red and again I am using uh, the infusions powder by Paper Archie. I am going to apply my color again with uh, gel medium and I really like to combine uh, uh, this red color with my background since I still get those uh, brown uh, particles inside. 
Uh, I have also used another powder by Paper Archie for the stems and once that was dry I am going to stamp my poppy. For stamping it I am going to use Black Archival Ink and I am going to try and stamp four uh, times on that area that I have already colored uh, red. Once this is stamped four times, I am going to use my scissors and uh, cut out uh, all those four uh, flowers and then I am going to use my scissors to cut out some stems from the brown area. As always, below the video you can find a full list of all the supplies that I am using today along with the exact infusion colors that I have used. After cutting all the poppies, I am going to use my scissors to cut out the stems. Now I'm cutting them out of this green area that I have colored on an angle. I'm not measuring anything, I'm just cutting the stems quite thin. And you will see that I can put them either way so I can get the angle on the one side or on the other. I'm going to cut out four stems out of this uh, paper. Before uh, sticking everything down, I decided that I needed a little bit more uh, things going on on the background. So I'm using this stencil by Paper Archie and I'm going to dab my archival coffee ink over those branches. I'm applying the ink with a cut and dry foam and uh, this is uh, not going to be very vibrant which is exactly the look that I am going for since I want those branches to look as if they are at the background. I'm going to uh, repeat the same process on the other uh, side. And to tell you the truth, when I got this stencil I didn't pay attention on uh, that uh, edge on one side. So while I was doing those branches I realized that I got that uh, great edge which is going to come in handy later on. You will see how I am going to use this edge to create a really great effect and uh, make a border for my layout. Once I was happy with the stenciling and how the background looked, it was time to go ahead and stick everything down. To stick the flowers, the poppies and the stems on my uh, art journal, I am going to use my matte medium. And to make everything nice and neat, I am using my scissors to cut out the excess paper. So now I am going to do a little bit of shading on the flowers to help them pop even more. Now it's uh, quite easy to do the shading, I am going to use my big brush markers. And I am going to add a little bit of shadow on um, the inside of uh, the petals. And I'm smudging it out towards the outside of the petal with my fingers. It's quite easy to decide where to add the shadow since the stamp on its own has some darker lines. Another favorite technique that I like to do on my focal points is to use my white gel pen to add some highlights. So I'm going to highlight some of the petals. My lines are quite sketchy. And I don't uh, go ahead and apply a perfect uh, white line all over the flowers. So this is going to help them pop even more. And this is a technique I really love doing and I do it again and again on all my art journals. I am going to use my black pen and uh, draw around the stems. And I really don't need to do that on the flowers since they already have black lines from the stamping. So to keep everything consistent, I'm adding the black lines on the stems by hand. And finally, I'm going to add uh, white lines on the stems as well, which is going to highlight them even more. 
And uh, the page is pretty much finished. I decided that I needed a little more uh, of that uh, grass or um, uh, branches at uh, the background. So with the same sponge, I am going to add a little bit more stenciling there. But this time I am using a dark green ink pad instead of the brown that I used earlier, just for some added interest. And now for a fun technique, using uh, the same stencil, I am going to apply the stencil on the outside edge. And I am going to use black archival ink over the edge. So I am going to create a nice border all around. You can use any uh, black archival ink, you can apply it with a brush or with a blending tool which uh, made uh, the job really easy and quick for me. To enhance the border even more and to make it look more crisp, I am going to use my white gel pen and go all around the edge. I really love the end result of this technique as the main project looks as if it's uh, laying on top of a black page. And you can see here the result. At uh, this stage, the project is pretty much finished. I am going to add some of uh, the black stickers from uh, this uh, Tim Holtz booklet. So I'm just trying to pick up uh, a few words. And the truth is, just because I have all that matte medium on my page, those stickers do not stick too well on uh, the background. So it's always nice when you use stickers or ribbons on your pages to apply some uh, uh, gel medium on top just to secure them and make sure they will not uh, peel off at any point. And that's exactly what I did on this page too. As a finishing touch, I am using some enamel, black enamel, to create dots at the center of my poppies. If you do this step, make sure that you don't close your book before they dry. So here are some close-up photos of the finished project. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you need more inspiration, here is one more art journal layout that I made a while back using again the infusions by Paper Archie. Thank you all for watching!